besides how much they run them. And then I figured out since I wear my dresses in my ads, I can write them off on my taxes as costume. Hey. So I, that's kind of a cool discovery. And there's record, you know, there's video of me in the dresses on the ads. So I, I'm like, that is so nice. I could write off my dresses. I will, Claudia. It, this place I go to for massages, it's like $6 for a massage. $6. It's cheaper by my house. It's $5. But um, I'm excited. I'm going to go get a massage. I'm going to pay for it. And instead of letting me just buy the phone charger, he's like, he's like haggling with them on the price. That's fine. But then he wants to haggle with every single person every single shop owner about the price for that one item before he says like, oh, let's buy it. And I'm like, it's my money and I don't want to walk around in the heat. So things like that will, will make me angry because I don't like being uncomfortable. No one likes men who mad to face. Love the food, rents are low because my entry requirement. Grandson lives in Bangkok in a suite. Oh yes, Bangkok's nice. I think I'm going to Bangkok this month. I'm from California. What made me move to Thailand? California is very expensive. I know it's a cultural thing, but like, I don't know what math debating is. Do you mean fight over bills? What does that sound, what is math debate? I don't know. Thank you, Lonnie. And pretty cool. I do get hangry, like everybody has their their issues, and I'm a Leo, so if you don't feed me, I get hangry. And then, if I get too hot, like the temperature's too hot for me, because I'm still not used to the heat, I get flustered and impatient. Like one guy, he, he we went shopping, and they have all these little market, like they're, you know, people have their little shops, and I was looking for a my phone charger, time. and you got me spending my time going from stall to stall to stall, checking on the same item, maybe two or three different shops okay we can go price check but i'm not price checking in every store in the whole area that is just a waste of time to haggle over 30 cents you know what i mean that is just like they're losing if their time is actually valuable and they spend it haggling over 30 cents they're losing i mean i've been to bangkok and i didn't like it the first time i went i had a terrible time I had a terrible time in Bangkok. Um, but then I have a friend who's flying in from Chicago and um, he said that he will show me a good time, that he wants to change my mind about Bangkok. So I was like, okay. And he told me to leave my wallet at home, that he's got it. So I was like, okay. I'm not going back to the US. I mean, I didn't really like Texas. I've been to Texas before, and the mosquitoes were terrible. I'm in Phuket, Thailand. Are you near Phuket? I live in Phuket. I live in Phuket. But I live on the other side of the island, and I had some errands to do on this side of the island, like the beachy side. And so I got a hotel for the weekend by the beach. I had a tailor make this dress, so I had to pick up some dresses. And then I went to go see my, I have two tailors I work with right now. I went to go see the other tailor ready to get fitted. Like I ordered them a week ago. 
I ordered a red one and then I ordered a purple one and I was supposed to get fitted. It's been a whole week and he's like, oh, the tailor's gone for the New Year's. For the whole week? You couldn't tell me that before I ordered? Am I sedated? No, I am not. I'm just very chill. A lot of people think that, but I just have a really chill personality. Hi, Louisiana. You guys, make sure you follow me. I'm trying to get followers. 100,000. Okay, so after this, I finished my food. I'm gonna go get a Thai massage, and then I'm gonna go hide in my hotel until it gets cooler. Massage. I'm gonna hide in my hotel. I'll make TikToks. I might go live. I have an advertisement to make. I make ads for companies who advertise their stuff on face on TikTok. So you guys might see me in ads. Like I did a sleep ad for a company called Shut Eye. It's a Shut Eye app. And um, I do ads for different apps. You guys might see me on TikTok in my ads. So I have an ad to make, I have one more ad to make. I make like 10 a week. So that's, that's another rise, reason you guys have been seeing me less because um, I've been trying to focus on making these ads because you can make up to like over $20,000 for one ad if it does good like and I'm not good at them yet but I'm getting better and doing these ads pays for like my rent and stuff in Thailand it's, it's not bad money you know but I'm still trying to do everything but um, it's hard getting into a routine was McDonald's better in Thailand than the US yes it was much better hi Pennsylvania Because I want, I don't know if I like making ads for other people. My whole thing with my tarot, like I never want to make the bulk of my money off giving tarot readings. It just doesn't, it's just not my goal. But I would like to become famous and then the songs that I use help other musicians become famous and then I get famous for helping musicians get famous and then people will pay me to use their songs. So that's really, that's what I envision. How do we see your ads? They'll just pop up on your For You page. I can't even send you the ad.